Hello and welcome from the Pup Mommy and Thumper and welcome to Tips from Thumper. Do you have a new puppy in your home and is that puppy keeping you awake at night with its whining and its crying? Well now, here are some tips from Thumper as to what you might want to do. So you brought your puppy home and now it's time to retire for the night. You've put the puppy into the crate with some nice soft bedding and maybe a little soft plush toy. And the little pup looks like it's fallen asleep and you leave the room, turn off the lights, and no sooner are you in your room than you hear the puppy whining pitifully. Or let's say you were lucky to get some sleep and now you're woken up in the middle of the night and the puppy's whining and wailing. So what do you do? Well, let me tell you what I've done with all of my puppies because I tell you, I've raised quite a few. Because they're so tiny and because everything is so still new and strange to them, I, what I would do is I brought them and their crate and their bed into my own bedroom so that they could feel my presence, pick up my scent, and know that I was near to them. And when you do this, chances do decrease that they're going to whine and wail during the night. But sometimes if they do, it's because maybe they have to go potty. So be sure you have plenty of those floor pads and put them out so that the pup, and then put the puppy down on them and see if it goes. Now, if elimination is not the problem, then don't be afraid to pick up the puppy, stroke it, talk softly to it, and comfort it. Com what I'm trying to say is comfort it. Then when the pup is kind of quieted down, Put the puppy back into its crate, bundle it up with its blanket and its soft toy, stroke it, talk to it some more, and then go back to bed. And if the puppy starts crying again, try the old shh. Repeat its name and shh. Now, you may have to repeat everything that I've just said a couple of times, but realize that your puppy is only about probably 10, 12 weeks old, and now that's a baby. The puppy's in a strange environment, away from its siblings that it grew up with at up to about eight, 10 weeks, and the home that it was born into. Now, if you got the pup from a reputable breeder, the breeder will probably give you some items that the puppy was familiar with, such as maybe a blanket or so. Now, the one that you see on the screen, that one came with Spunky. That's the Winnie the Pooh blanket. And I got Spunky when he was just shy of one year old. And he was, the breeder had given him to me to replace a Boston that I had lost to inflammatory brain disease at age five. But enough of that. Now, back to your quandary here. Now, I am not an advocate of leaving your pup alone in a room by itself with a blanket draped over the crate and if it starts crying, let it cry itself to sleep. I don't know whoever recommended that action, but as a pup mommy, I find it unacceptable. What a puppy experiences in the first weeks of its life and with you as an owner, as a new owner, it will carry with it for the rest of its life. You wouldn't close the door to a baby's room and let it cry all night. Then please don't do that to a puppy. And another tip too, if you already have a dog or dogs like I do, I found that putting the puppy near them or letting the puppy curl up beside them also works wonders. Now, my puppies are bonded with my other adult dogs and that has eased their transition into the home. Now, the other thing too, make sure that your puppy has had plenty of exercise and playtime during the day, so that way it's tired out at night. And my mantra is, no matter what the dog's age, a tired dog is a happy owner. And also, a couple of hours before it's time for bed, make sure you put the play toys away and start winding down the little puppy, including telling your children it's time for the little puppy go to sleep. Now, if you're really in a jam, you can also ask your vet for recommendations, which may include putting some calming drops that you can put into your dog's food bowl. It's not a medication per se. It's just something that takes the edge off and makes them a little more drowsy and sleepy. And also, if you happen to have lavender scent on, on hand, that's also good. So that's it for this episode of Tips from Thumper, who uh, suddenly has become camera shy. Hmm? <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments and what you've done to put your pup to get your pup to sleep through the night. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll see you again shortly for some more videos on tips from Thumper. Bye for now.